Good go. Psych, totally got it fixed. Ahoy there, YouTube. I'm back again today for another Kickstarter critique where I take a look at a different Kickstarter tabletop game every weekday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Do a live stream on my honest thoughts on how that one is being ran. And today I'm very excited to be checking out a gigantic box. And I remember seeing this box last year at Gen Con, actually two years ago. Wow. For MP Reel. And I do apologize. I lost it. But as always, I like to see where they are on the popularity chart right here. So let's go to popularity. Because that's always a, a good barometer for how many people are going to that Kickstarter right now. And okay, so we're about 10th place. So not bad, not terrible, it's 10th or 7th. So $100,000 funding goal, $60,000 reach. So it has not blown up as one might expect. Because let's be quite frank, uh, we're looking at this at $60,000. If it was $600,000, you wouldn't blink an eye. You'd be like, yeah, I see a gigantic box here. I see that people love buying gigantic boxes. And you wouldn't bat an eye, but the fact that it's 60 instead of 600 tells me something's here. Something's here that's, that's, that's a miss. So let's see if we can find what it is. As always, when I go into these videos, I'm thinking three things. Do I want it? Can you do it? How much is it? Convince me of one of those three, hopefully, in this video. Reprint 2020's hit fantasy rail building game. So it's a reprint from last year. Odd to see. Uh, Imperial Spell and Steams in a new mini expansion. I don't mean it's odd to see that it's happening. I mean it's odd to see it on Kickstarter, I think. All right. The world of Indians has endured a long, dark age. Now, a new era dawns. The era of industrialization and exploration. So, uh, they, they just kind of threw it in there. The Indians is a very popular card game series. I don't think I've ever actually played it uh, that they have that's in their brand as well. So, this is supposed to be like a spinoff, a, 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 you know, an evolution, not an evolution gameplay-wise, but of theme, which I think is a cool idea. Spells and steam, you will become a railway magnate in a beautifully rendered fantasy world. Oh, that's nice. Use mystical trains to cross the diverse landscapes and get. Wait, 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 wait. So, here's my question if this is a reprint, like this is just a reprint, right? Like, this isn't. I think there's like a micro expansion, right? But if this is a reprint, why are we not seeing real components here? Uh, are the components changing drastically? It just seems odd to me. Gather exotic goods. Each contract you fulfill builds up your company. See, that's a great shot right there. It'd be an even cooler shot if it was in real life. Now, that's because that's what I'm asking. Is this new stuff we're seeing here? Like, right from the jump, I'm curious because you're saying this is a reprint, but then it's, it's is this the game? Is this an expansion? I feel like, oh wait, so hits, spells and steams, and a new mini expansion. Reprint, reprint 2020's hit fantasy rail building game, Imperial Spells and Steam. So that's the name of the original game. And so this, and the way they get around this, because you're not supposed to actually do this, this is why we don't see it, uh, is there's an expansion, a new mini expansion. And it is what it is. You know, some people are going to say that's that's shady, that's, that's, you know, that's... But here's the bottom line. What's the cost to produce this massive game? So if they don't go this route... Are they just supposed to eat that cost and say, you know what, we're going to take this $100,000 risk that might, you know, completely ruin our family and my kids' kids because it knocks us into poverty and then when we're in poverty, my kids become in poverty and I've just completely changed our life tree. Or they could do this. So I have no issues with this. I have zero issues with this. Just make it, I think, a little bit clearer here. And if it's just a reprint, and this is an actual component I can have in this game. Why aren't you just showing me that? Um, I think it's a missed opportunity. Introducing new abilities and redefining how you play. Build the ultimate railway company and conquer the frontier with magic. That sounds Imperial weird. <laughs> is a huge rail building game by Level 99 Games. Featuring our signature emphasis on unique player powers, direct interaction, and unparalleled replayability. Oh! Oh, there we go. There we go. We're getting this back on track. I wasn't the biggest fan of that first minute or the first 50 seconds. Now we're getting there. Start throwing these terms at me. Start showing me how I can make this board all sorts of crazy different ways and have all these different characters. That gets me excited. If I'm going to have a giant box there, I want it to be a giant box that I'm going to be able to play over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. And it's going to be the game I play it enough that I don't have to completely go through the rules every single time, which is what I hope to see here. I hope to see here. 
Build your company by selecting leaders, staff, technologies, and Beautiful. Rules. Every combination of powers will reveal new strategies and possibilities. With a play length of 20 minutes per player, Imperial is a light yet- Beautiful! Beautiful! Why is this the first time I'm hearing about this? 20 minutes per player? Call me crazy. Let me know. I feel like that perks my ears up. I'm like, whoa! You know, insane amounts of variability, but it's a lighter style game. I had no idea we were talking about that. An hour for a three-player game? Imperial is a light yet deep gateway game. It's a really solid, fun game. The components are absolutely gorgeous. Uh, okay. Each of the captains feels significantly different. I really like how they, all that worked. It's a wonderful, fresh take on the very tired genre. I like that one the best. That will entertain and impress friends and family over and over again. I don't know if I like. I don't know if I like the Tom Vassell one. It's a really good, solid, fun game. Like I feel like all you're doing is telling me it's not great. Like that quote personally, and I'm not here to kiss anybody's butt, but that quote right there, like, and you use it. I'm not putting that on Tom. It's like, you use that quote. It's like, it's a really good, solid, fun game. Like, like if I was like, hey, you know, I'm thinking about buying uh, Street Masters. You got it, I see over there. What do you think about it? Hey, it's, it's, it's really good. It's, um, it's solid. It's a fun game. It's a fun game. Like, you know, it's just, maybe it's just me. Let me know what you think about that quote. <laughs> like, because it just, to me, like... I want to hear, I want the word great. Like, I loved it. And I know Tom Bass, you know, and but, but Tom's a reviewer, so he might not use superlatives like I use superlatives. But anywho. By backing this Kickstarter project, you'll receive the new printing of Imperial Spells and Steam, as well as the brand new Far Corners mini expansion, which introduces four new play variants called Metros. Ooh. Okay. Thank you for checking out Imperial. <laughs> as always, <laughs> I like how that's tapped on at the end. Just slap it on the butt. <laughs> okay, so the video didn't wow me. And I think that I think that's the first thing. Like, when, when you start to see a lot of these million-dollar Kickstarters, normally that first minute of the video just absolutely just sucks you in and engrosses you. It engages me. There's a whole field of people. I just had an interview with one area. Not an interview. A sit-down with somebody. I was talking to somebody this morning, and their whole their, their profession is that they make really quality Kickstarter videos. There's an art to it. It's crazy. Kickstarter is evolving, but as always, uh, do I want it? Yeah, I'm intrigued. Uh, I think if you like this style of game, definitely gonna be more in your wheelhouse. Uh, can you do it? That's where we get down to here, uh, which 23 created, 281 back. Most people know level 99 games, or have heard of level 99 games. But we will make sure that the last stuff is fulfilled. We always want to make sure it's not a flaming dumpster fire. Uh, so it was, yeah. Let's see how the original. Oh yes, they've got quite a few games. So let's go. I feel like this is the one that really matters. Like, was this, was this good? Did people get their stuff? Yeah. I'm going to assume yes. I got some, but not all my replacement pieces. Can I have a replacement for damaged parts I sent? So this is just minor people having component issues. And look, and here's the most important thing. I see collaborators still on their customer service. Uh, so we do have some issues there with some shipping, though. Receive anything? I didn't receive an answer. Ooh, this is not looking good. Like, this is what I don't like to see is, and this is why ugh, Kickstarter needs to fix your comment section, but yeah. Did Ivan ever get his game? I hope not. And that's why Kickstarter companies, its you got to have somebody who looks back in these old comment sections. Like, even if it's just once every week or something, but when you get in 23 projects, because these just sit here, they kind of fester. And, you know, Ivan, Ivan might be talking trash on the internet right now. I might be like, I hate them. I spent X amount of dollars on this game, and I never got it. You know? And, yeah, I'm sure you'd rather have them send you an email or post in the updates or something like that, because comments are not great. But it still looks bad on you. But... But we do have, should, we should have good customer service here. We got collaborators right there. Uh, so what do we got? The game is phenomenal. Gorgeous art, themes, and components. Love playing this. So there's lots of quotes, but who are they from? Like, the game is phenomenal. Who's saying this? It's just like, I could say that about anything. Mountain Dew, Zero Sugar, Major Melon. It's phenomenal. Gorgeous art theme and components. Love playing this. Best game of 2020. That's great, but who's it from? Who's saying these? Like, does it does it go down? Like, ah, oh, I don't want to scroll over here. I want to scroll over here. Yeah, it's these are just production time. Like, who's saying all this stuff? These are just quotes. Like, at least put on the bottom, compiled from reviews or something. Even the better, my friends, even better, my friends and I liked it so much. A truly incredible production. Fantastic. Love this game. Like, I get the quotes. But I almost feel like less is more here. Like, have, like, five great quotes with, with people we know. Other, And it doesn't have to be, like, content creators. Like, game designers. Like, I've seen people quote Isaac Childress so many times. How many times have you seen Isaac Childress quote us on here? I mean, 
And we were a drinking game. We can get drunk. Uh, Spells and Steam is a beautiful game. So I, I don't like this. T- and also, we're, we're beating around the bush on the price. We all know what we want to know, which is the game is massive. And that's the other thing. I don't feel like... I Did did you get a really good feel for how massive this box is anywhere in here? They went with this really odd sideways angle. And it, why, why would you do that? Like, yeah, like... It, obviously, you you want to showcase how huge this box is right here. So put it next to other boxes. Put it next to something. Because, like, I know. I have seen this box in person. I've seen how massive it is. It's insane. Uh, but you want to give that impression that this is that epic style game. And I feel like that, that might be missing a little bit. Once again, these quotes. I don't know who they're from. It is a beautiful game about... But I want the price. That's the thing. I want the price. Why have we not had the price yet? Just hit me with the price. We all see this gigantic box... We see the praise. We see these quotes. Hit me with the price. Don't beat around the bush. Last year, we released Imperial. It sold out of the game in just a few months. Now we're asking you to help so we can reprint this incredible game once again. I like how they're being upfront about all this. Excellent. And then, they, yeah, these are real components. Why am I not seeing these? I want to see the real things. Photos courtesy of Dr. Meeple. Like, why, why do you need Dr. Meeple? <laughs> like, you have a game. You have a phone. I mean, these look nice. I don't, I don't know. Uh, how to play, choose your company, expand your network, deliver your resources, improve your capabilities. Cool. How to play. Oh, great. Is this like a full one? 15 minutes? That's awesome. Love seeing that. Love seeing that right there. 15 minutes. Tabletopia. Download the rule booklet. Great. Then pledge tiers. I almost feel... $69? Gets everything you need to play plus the new... Wait, is that the game? Is $69? Wow. Okay. That's that, why. Why are we hiding this? I've been on this Kickstarter for twelve minutes now, and I'm just now finding out that this gigantic box is sixty nine dollars. I feel like I was expecting a hundred. Let me know in the comments. Did you expect this to be less than a hundred? I thought because I've seen a lot of games. Yeah, look at that, look at that dang size of that box. Don't highlight that. Don't blend it into the white. Um, sixty nine dollars. That's a that's a great price. Hundred nine. Uh, because you've got to realize sixty is MSRP pretty much for for a lot of large games like if you go buy dominion it's 60 dollars. if you go buy a lot of games it's 60 dollars. it's 69 dollars, and that includes the expansion so you're getting the expansion you're getting this i feel like that's a damn good price don't hide that i would put that right on the front page right slap dab in there i can get on this monstrosity for 69 dollars, and then if you want to start getting the other stuff who owned the oh oh who already owned the base game wait no 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 oh they must be doing huge numbers for that print run because that's cheap for all that cardboard yeah yeah, that must be a massive, and that's why it's $100,000, I suppose. Uh, get everything you need to play, plus the new mini-expansion. So this comes with the game, and the mini-expansion. Then what is this? For those who already own the base game, get expansions and the deluxe upgrade kit. Oh, so that's clean. That's clear, $109. All the gameplay content for Imperial, and then what, all the Imperial plus the deluxe upgrade kit. Have we talked about the deluxe upgrade kit yet? I don't think we have. Yes, so that's why this seems a little bit confusing. This area, uh, I would like to... So what's the Deluxe Upgrade Kit? Now I kind of want to know. <laughs> like, I almost feel like that that would have been a great thing to get in the video. I feel like I feel like you should have went potentially with the... You've heard about this monstrosity if you have a box with like blah, blah, blah. And like, I feel like you should have went with that angle. Whereas opposed to you're just pitching the game. I don't know. I don't know, I'm just trying to think of what would have made that one minute... That first minute a little bit more intriguing and i feel like less story more game and what this exactly is because it's it's different it's unique as i mentioned earlier this is you printing a second print run and going to kickstarter twice pretty much but hey we got a nine dollar micro expansion that we're throwing in here so we can yep, use that little loophole which is fine i love that loophole abuse it so it's odd it's just odd. so 159 so what's the whale all of imperial plus so this is what the hell is this? All of Imperial plus all add-ons available in this project. What are these? What are these things? Oh, are these, are these posters or something? Okay. So, we're going to call this the whale. We're not going to call this the whale. This is like super fans, super backers. Even though those posters, man, those posters are pretty badass. All right, let's keep going. Add-ons. Extra. Extra what? Extra. Extra. Trains. Trains. The curse. The, I'm not a big fan of this cursive as well. It's a little bit hard to read. Uh, but yeah, they, they, Dustin's right. That, that, that print run has to be massive for this thing. 360 extra trains, 45 each and eight colors. Wow. That's, that's a really solid add on poster collections. Ooh, get all eight of these posters featured as fall. And that's great. And they give you the poster measurements. I like that. I like that they get it there. 
The Grand Chronicle, a premium art book that tells the story of the world of Indines and an iconic... Okay. Okay, so if you just absolutely want to go all in crazy gaga bananas for it, there you go. But this is the box right here. Oh my goodness. Six double-sided terrain boards, 210 train car minis. 210 train car minis for $60. 69 because you got to buy the micro expansion. 51 specialist tiles, 8 placement cards, 30 demand tiles, 12 city stands, which once again, those look cool. Show me you using them in the game, not a freaking tabletopia of them. 210 goods tokens, 60 mana crystals. So it's not that just we're, we're getting tons of components. We're getting different, diverse, interesting components, which means the board's going to look more interesting, more inviting. I like what I'm seeing here. 20 Wasteland Tiles, 10 Award Tiles, then the Far Corners Mini Expansion. So we're getting good stuff here. Postcard Specialist, new quirks to the game. As above, so below. So this is a different expansion. Is this also, has this, this has already been released, I'm assuming. I imagine this was part of the first Kickstarter. But it's, it's not, so this is where you get solo mode. A series of autonomous decks will enable you to play the game solo, and I would love to try that one out. Uh, so if you want to go solo, you go that route. Okay, Deluxe Upgrade Kit. So yeah, we're now hearing about this. Uh, the Deluxe Upgrade Kit includes heavyweight player folios for all eight base and expansion companies. Do you show those? I wish I wish I could just see, like, is it is it like something that I open? What is it? Like, I see them down here, but I feel like in, in a hand shot or something else would be a little bit better to sell those, potentially. Because right now they just look like just stuff, pictures. <laughs> Uh, heavyweight player folios for all made of heavy chipboard complete with silver and gloss company logos and a menu fold design that close. Yeah, like this stuff sounds awesome. Show me. Even if it's like a rough diagram that Panda GM sent you, it's like, this is how it's going to work. Mock something like that up. Molded goods. Oh, yes. 216. Indines travel postcards. Great. The art book. Okay, so that's that's where I feel like you might start losing people. When you get to the art book. So you, you get the art book, either you get the deluxe upgrade kit. I feel like that's a miss. I feel like that's a big miss. Because here's the bottom line. I have a Scythe art book. I got it. I got it like, uh, I did a Kickstarter video for it. You know how many times I've opened it? The answer is one or zero. <laughs> like, people generally, I don't feel like most people want that. You know? Whereas... If you're just like, we have these insanely awesome components that are going to get you more into the theme with better chipboard, company logos, menu fold design. Like, if we're talking functional, that's what I want. So I feel like clumping these two together, I'm not a big fan. A set of eight postcard-sized prints of travel posters for the City of Zendines illustrate. So this, you're making me buy postcards and an art book when all I want to do is upgrade my game? I feel like that's, 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 that's a miss. I feel like people aren't going to like that. All right. Critical acclaim. Imperial Stills and Steam in about three minutes. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I see so many damn companies. Uh, they would have like five videos about the $9 micro expansion. Be like, no, this is where your spotlight. You were trying to get us to buy the second printing of your game. Let's not beat around the bush. This is about the main game. This is not about the $9 expansion. Uh, so, yeah. and I, But I see them posting all the stuff about the new expansion. It's like, no, should convince me uh, of this game. So we got, and this is a review, this is a review, cool, we got plenty of reviews, awesome, space gift, written reviews, process, and that's, okay, process and timeline, 2022, that sounds realistic, there we go, there we go, why is this buried, this is, this should not be buried, we're 19 minutes into it, and this is what I want to see. Oh, this is bigger than a Suburbia box? It's actually bigger this way than even Gloomhaven? Like, it's a massive beast of a game that I'm getting for $69? You're getting value here. Now, I'm sure once we get to shipping, that's where the value is going to go. But if you can get them there with the $69 at the jump, and say $69 plus shipping, and we ship it everywhere in the world or whatever, uh, how many people you're going to convince along the way to back a game, even though the shipping's probably going to be 30 bucks? Here we go. Uh, this is the other thing I always say drives me mad keep the shipping put it by the prices why do i gotta go through these videos all right why do i gotta go through the box sizes when i get to the shipping all right so here we go 13 dollars. holy shnikes that is wow that's an insanely large boxer ship for 13 bucks so i can get this for 82 dollars out the door and you're not telling me that i have to put two and two together hell no that's a missed opportunity 
and, and no, can can nobody tell me that that that, that like eighty two dollars shipped anywhere in the United States? Put that on the front. Massive box. Show me the gigantic box, just massive, dwarfing other little baby boxes, cowering in front of its greatness, and eighty two dollars shipped United States of America with expansion, something like that. Because eighty-two dollars on Kickstarter, pfft, people don't even think twice about that. Most people don't. Don't make, don't hide it. That's a great. I can't get over that. Thirteen dollars to ship to Canada. How in the hell is that so cheap? I don't know. A medium flat rate envelope that fits a Cards Against Humanity size box cost. I think it was like eighteen dollars. I want to say to ship to Canada. And this was back before prices went huge. So how are they doing it for $13? That's magical. That's wizardry. And it's buried 20 minutes down the page. No, no, no. At least, oh, wait, wait, but they can redeem themselves. Do I click on here? Does it tell me how much it cost? No. That's also, if you know the cost. Oh, man. Level 99 has great shipping. Bullet Heart was free shipping. Yeah. Lean into your positives. And if you have shipping, I'm just blown away. I'm blown away by $15 to the UK. $13 to Australia. How in the hell are you sending this box to the island of Australia for 13 damn dollars? How does that make money? $12 to China? That's just... And yet, it's buried down here. And, and I say this all the time. Market to your buyers and your buyers in this case half the people that back on kickstarter generally are from the united states of america the rest are the rest of the world and when you have spectacular prices to places like this let's go back to that main image i want to go back to that main image real quick and and and, and I, I really want to nitpick it a little bit more because how much stuff could have been on that main image so how do i get to their dang thing uh tabletop let's just go this route because all right, here we go, here we go. Ooh, cool, good for them. Uh, because it's just, there's so much information they could have conveyed about this. Like, the box size. Because I don't believe the box size. So, it kind of looks like a big box, but it kind of also doesn't. It's this plain white. Like, I know you're spotlighting the artwork, but I can't even see what that artwork is. Can you see what this is? I can't see what it is. You know? Imperial spells and steams. Imperial, I can't even read the cursive because it's too small. You know, uh, this is not an appealing window. And why would I click on this when I can go to Australia? Why would I click on this when it Hippocrates and it tells me it's one to four players and ages 12 plus or, you know, fun. you know, it's just, it, I feel like the thumbnail needs to be popping better because you got a lot of good stuff here and that shipping, whoo, shipping, raise it up, raise it up. All right. Quality components. What do we got? Risks and challenges, whatevs. Uh, FAQ, let's check it out. Can I just get... Can I can I get just far corners and as above so below or just far corners and the deluxe upgrade? Uh, cool. Will there be a regular retailer option for Imperial? Is there a solo mode Imperial plays? Okay, cool. And hopefully they're adding more FAQs as they go. No updates. Um, that's disappointing. You're two days in, and I know this is not going as you had planned, but you still probably should poke your head in and be like, hey, 60% funded. Uh, you know, it's it's not off to quite the uh, the rocket launch that we were potentially hoping for, and we're reaching out to our backers to say, what do you think maybe we could do differently? Where could we be investing marketing more or doing this? Or how did you find out about it? What do you think should be spotlighted about the original game? Reach out to them. Make them a part of it. Steal their ideas. Because you know what? You steal their ideas and they're going to be like, Pooh, they took my idea. <laughs> like, it's, I, it's, it's just, you clearly, 60,000 is great. And I'm not diminishing 60,000 in any way, shape, or form. This is going to happen. It's going to get a second print run. But this could be big. $82 for this game. Like, I don't back games on Kickstarter. But that, that's, that's, a, uh, that's tempting. And, and the fact that it's, it's just, it's not spotlighted. Just drives me nuts. Like this. Like let, let's 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 look. Let's let's go. Let's fantasy book here. We get rid of these quotes. I see this. I see this. I see all this. You know, maybe I see a massive thing set up. Sixty nine dollars. Thirteen dollars ship United States of America. Twelve dollars ship China. They're, and it's just like whoa. I'm already just insanely just overwhelmed by the potential value I'm seeing here. 
And instead, it's like, okay, hey, what's up? This is it set up. Here's the awesome components. How to play. Hey, you guys want to know how to play? Oh, here's a video in case there's rules. And it's like $9. Oh, then it's like, whoa, 69 Like, But how many people don't get there? How many people aren't going to get there? I don't know. Uh, let's check out the comments. And once again, 107. Not much engagement. Not much people popping off. Hi, first of all, congratulations on the game. Great components. I very much appreciate my group fans of the Railway-themed games. In this case, definitely out of the ordinary. Now, so, oh, oh my gosh. Yeah, you're getting the Puffin' Billy crowd on this, aren't you? Getting a, so, uh, so there is a humongous, and you may not know about this if you don't go to conventions, there is a humongous group of train gamers. Like, train games are just insane bananas. Now, it's also, you know, 18xx style, and I don't want to di I don't want to say that I know too much about it. I, I haven't dipped my toes too terribly deep into it, but there's a humongous group of people that just play train games. And the fact that this is, in fact, still a train game, you're going to have a huge community of people in here, and that's who you need to be getting engaged, I think. You need to get these people talking, uh, because, look, Balter here, he's ready to talk. He's ready to chomp. The art book over there is completely new, also because the previous one at this moment. So, uh, is Argent coming to Kickstarter sometime? <laughs> is there somebody else about another game? Uh, you're active here. You're great. But I would just be trying to get Meeple more engaged. But I feel like the only way you're going to do that is get more backers. And it's just... So, there's no stretch goals. So, now I'm looking at it. Why do I come back to this Kickstarter? I see your amazing price. I back for $82. I'm happy. I'm satisfied. I'm getting an amazing game, hopefully... And, and worst case scenario, it's not as big a hit as, say, $250. Like, think of all those other games. And so, in my mind's eye, I'm happy. But why do I come back to this Kickstarter? No stretch goals. No unlocks. No, there's not even a damn update. Like, honestly, two days. You haven't, you haven't, you haven't even pinged me in my email in two days. You know? Am I going to remember this game? Am I going to remember to come back to this game? To Because to, here's the other thing. I worry that this is going to start tick, kick, uh, sinking like a, a rock down the, the, the algorithms. Because if people aren't coming back, and there, there appears to be no good reason to come back to this Kickstarter. Like, let's look at it. it. Like, it's exciting, the product is great, but why do I come back? It looks like a wasteland. There's nothing new. I don't see there being anything added new. Like, nothing here, like, teases me that, oh, something's coming, you want to come back next week and check this out, you want to share this with your friends? There's nothing it's kind of like you're like all right we're going off our name we're level 99 games we make great games this is a huge game and like I, and i don't know it, it clearly is not potentially working how you hope it is or maybe it is and if it is then that's spectacular but i'd say shoot bigger and i you know what people are gonna say you shouldn't say that but i'm the same way you know people tell me all the time you need you need to shoot bigger you need to think bigger and it's hard to do sometimes and now I'm done doing the piece. I don't know. That was a total different tangent. So in the end, Imperial Four Corners. I gotta give this a freaking two. No, wait, not a two, because a two is back the whale. And the whale is like... Uh, so yeah, let's take a look at the pledge levels. 18 bucks. So yeah, there you go. 18. Not many people interested in getting the whole shebang. But if you had just the one with... So is this the one with just the components? All Imperial game content plus deluxe resource and components. Yeah, is this the one that... 200 backers. All right, and yeah, that's where most of the people are, because that's what people want. So maybe, I don't know. But anywho, I'm going to give this a one, very solid one. Looks like an awesome game, uh, and I would love to try it eventually. And, and it's got a solo, it's got those nice components, it's got postcards for some odd reason, but still very cool looking in as Imperial Four Quarters. But let me know in the comments below. I said a lot here about a lot going on in this Kickstarter page, and everybody consumes Kickstarter in different ways. So let me know what you agreed with, what you disagreed with. I read every single one of them, and I comment on most of them. Uh, so let me know. And also, if you enjoy what I'm doing, please be sure to click on that subscribe button down below as I'm trying to reach 9,000 subscribers, celebrate my nine-year anniversary of making YouTube content. And as always, thanks for your time, YouTube. Bye-bye.